वेलकम टू सीएसए नेट केमिस्ट्री फैक्ट्स हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द बेंस रूल एंड दिस बेंस रूल इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय हेनरी बेंस एंड हु वाज ए अमेरिकन केमिकल फिजिकल केमिस्ट एंड आई विल गो फॉर द डिटेल्स डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस बेंस रूल एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल सॉल्व सम सीएसए नेट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू बेंस रूल सो व्हाट इज बेंस रूल it states that a more electronegative atom prefers to bond with that hybridized orbital which has less s characters here you can see a molecule is there of ch3f and fluorine has more electronegativity than hydrogen and hence the cf bond will have less s character and ch bond will have more s character why it is so because the s orbital is closer to the nucleus and hence the s character uh means if the s character is there in the hybridized orbital then the hybridized orbital will have the more electronegativity as it is closer to the nucleus okay because s has the higher penetrating power and the s electron will feel the more z star that means the effective nuclear charge on it and hence the s character will increase means the electronegativity of the orbital will increase so here you can see a chart is given from sp3 d2 to sp the electronegativity will follow the same trend of the percentage of s character so i made a animation for better understanding of this bens rule if the s character is very less then the uh, hybridized orbital will be electropositive but if s character is very means too much s character is there or more s character is there in that case the hybridized orbital will be electronegative an electronegative hybridized orbital will prefer to the electropositive substituent and it will be opposite if the hybridized orbital will be electropositive so in that case the s character is very less in this hybridized orbital and it will prefer to the electronegative substituent like fluorine so this is actually the bens rule the less s character hybridized orbital will prefer to the more electronegative element so what is the relationship between the bond angle and the s and p character so this is the formula why you can see the cos theta equal to s by s minus 1 equal to p minus 1 by p why the theta equal to the bond angle and the capital s is equal to the percentage of s character and capital p is the percentage of p character of a bond so for example uh, sp3 hybridized orbital has the s character 0.25 and the p character 0.75 hence the s by s minus 1 equal to Minus zero point three three, which is equal to the p minus one by p, and if you if you put this value in this equation, and we will make a cos inverse to get the theta, then we will get the cos inverse of minus zero point three three is equal to one zero nine point four seven one degree, which is the bond angle of the sp three hybridized orbital. So therefore, the s character will increase means the bond angle will increase, and p character will increase means the bond angle will decrease. so there will be a parallel relationship with the bond angle and the s character and there will be a inverse relationship with the p character and the bond angle so guys uh, here you can see the three pictures and uh, in this case uh, the first one a is representing the sp3 hybridized orbital and b is representing sp2 hybridized orbital c is represent the sp hybridized orbital and the s character is increasing from a to c and the p character is follow the opposite trend from c to a it is increasing and the bond angle is following the trend as it is like s character that is from a to c the bond angle is increased so therefore higher the s character higher will be the bond angle and and the p character has the opposite relationship with the bond angle so guys why it is because the central atom if it is use its s, s orbital for the hybridization then the bond pair electron will be closer to its nucleus because the s orbital will feel more effective nuclear charge hence the two bonds will feel more repulsion in this picture you can see the b is smaller b is representing this uh, scenario that where the s the p the s character in the hybridized orbital is more so so in that case the bond angle will increase if the s character of in this hybridized orbital will be less that is in the small c is picture in the in this picture the small c representing that for the peak s character is less and therefore the bonding electron pair will be far from the central atom and hence the repulsion between these two bond will be less 
and the angle will be less so therefore higher the s character higher will be the bond angle so i will come for the example example one is pcl3 f2 so what is the habitation of the phosphorus here we know the phosphorus has electronic configuration of 3s to 3p3 in the excited state the one electron from the sulfur will jump to the one electron of the uh, 3s orbital will jump to the 3d orbital and it will be the electronic configuration will be the 3s1 3p3 3d1 and this 5 orbital will make a sp3 d habitation and here the 3d will be 3dz that will involve in this habitation and sp3 habitation means that will be a trigonal bipyramidal geometry so this is the geometry you can see uh, in the picture and uh, there is a problem what is the problem the problem is that in the tri trigonal bipyramidal geometry there will be two type of uh, bond equatorial bonds and the axial bonds so the chlorine and fluorine which one will choose which position that we don't know so therefore there is a three possibilities of, of isomers the first possibility is that the two fluorine are adjacent to each other and in the second po second possibility the two the two fluorine are in the equatorial plane means that in the first uh, possibility the one fluorine is in the axial and the other fluorine is in the equatorial in the second uh, possibility the two fluorine is in the equatorial plane in the third possibility the two fluorine is in the axial plane so which one will be the correct among this so guys uh, we know the bond angle between the axial bond and the equatorial plane is 90 degree and between the equatorial uh, bonds the bond angle is 120 degree so this is sp3d habitized and the equatorial plane actually consists sp2 habitization and the axial bond will uh, consist pd habitization where the p is the pz and d is the dz square so guys therefore we can see the uh, axial bond does not have any s character and equatorial bond has more s character and it, this can be justified by this uh, rule also if we put the theta value of 90 degree for axial bond then we can get the s character equal to zero hence in along the axial bond there will be no s character and hence the more electronegative atom will prefer the hybridized orbital which has no s character at all okay that is the bench rule and hence here the more uh, here the here the more electronegative fluorine will prefer the axial bond and uh, which has zero s character so therefore this is the correct geometry where the two fluorine are in the axial position and three chlorine are in the equatorial position so for example 2 i taken this compound ch2f2 so this is the 3d structure of ch2f2 and there are three uh, type of bond angles fch hch and fcf and as it is a sp3 habitation therefore the all bond angle should be equal to 109 degree but here we can see the hch bond angle is more than the fcf bond angle and why it is this can be explained by the Benz rule we know the electronegativity of fluorine is more and fluorine will prefer the hybridized orbital which has less s character hence the cf bond has the less s character compared to the ch bond and higher the s character larger will be the bond angle as we know and hence the hch bond angle will be more because this has more s character but fcf bond angle will be less because fcf bond has the less s character so guys this will be the uh, conclusion for this so now i will come for few csir questions in the csir 2017 the question came in four marks the question is the according to the bench rule for the f block element the correct combination of the geometry around the central atom and the position of the mole alternative substituent is what just now we discussed this question like phosphorus is a p block element and the p block element will prefer the sp3 d habitization and the trigonal bipyramidal geometry where the two electronegative fluorine atom will prefer the axial position and hence the option one is the correct option where it is showing the trigonal bipyramidal geometry and the axial position so this is the correct option is one now i will come for the next question this question came in 2016 june in a four marks and here the carbon fluoride uh, compound is given where the bond angle we have to compare 
between the FCF and FCO and we have to compare the bond distance of CF and CO. So this is the structure of carbon uh, difluoride when, when CF2O and here we know the electronegativity of the oxygen is less than the fluorine and hence the CO bond has higher S character than the CF bond. So we know the higher the S character the stronger the bond and the bond length also will be smaller. So S character will increase means bond length will decrease. So therefore CO will have a lesser bond length than the CF. And one more thing is that the, the, the C double bond O has a double bond. So double bond has always a shorter bond length than a single bond and CF is a single bond. So therefore the order of bond length is CF is greater than CO. So now we'll come for the bond angle. So we know the CF bond has the less S character and CO bond has the more S character. Okay. So less S character indicates the smaller bond angle. As we know the S character will decrease means bond angle also will decrease. Therefore FCF bond angle will be smaller than the FCO bond angle because fluorine is more electronegative than the oxygen. And one more point is that the order of repulsion is bond, double bond, single bond is greater than the single bond, single bond. And hence what will happen? Hence uh, the order of the bond angle will be FCF is smaller than the OCF. So guys, uh, hope you understand uh, this Bain's rule and its applications and uh, see, the, uh, see what is the correct answer for this. So therefore in this case the correct answer will be option number 3 why it is showing the FCA bond angle is lesser compared to the FCA bond angle and CA bond length is more than the CA bond length. So option 3 is the correct answer. So guys hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe this YouTube channel and uh, press the bell.